let me explain something called the reticular um, formation. So it's that area that's sort of purplish. It's the center or one of the most primitive parts of the brain and all of our senses, sight, smell, touch, et cetera, they all get processed by the reticular formation. And why does this matter? Well, the reticular controls what you pay attention to, uh, creates blind spots or filters, decides what's a threat and what you value. Hey, do you think about the particular car you drive? When you were shopping for that car, did you suddenly notice that make and model everywhere you looked? That's your reticular act, um, reticular working. It's because when you suddenly develop an interest in something, your brain starts to notice those things everywhere you go. And on the other hand, it can create blind spots. So no, you can't smell a baby's diaper after 20 minutes. The smell doesn't go away. Your, your ability to smell it goes away because the brain basically says, if you haven't caught it now, it's too late. I can't help you. Or another version of it is uh, uh, in the early 80s, I moved into an apartment that in West Vancouver that was on the train track. So there's a, a train service that would go into the interior part of the province with all the, loaded with all the goods and services and come back with timber and that kind of stuff. And the first night I'm sleeping there and I at four in the morning, the train goes by 4 a.m. And I'm like, oh my God, what have I done? Am I gonna be woken every day at four o'clock as a result of this train? But what do you imagine happened after a couple of weeks? I didn't wake up anymore. The brain understood that that train wasn't a threat. I could just continue to sleep through it. The noise didn't go away, but my need to react to it, the brain understood it wasn't a threat. So the, the, the reticular decides what's a threat, what's you, what you value. So when you set goals, you're activating your reticular system. And what that means is as you write goals, as you write your I am statements, the brain starts to pay attention to all the things and influences in your environment that helps you achieve those things because then it sets your direction and focus. It uh, creates movement and momentum. And it's all really about the person you become.